booktube my name is elizabeth and welcome to book babble today is tuesday and that means it is tuesday talks but before i get into my tuesday talks topic i do want to make a short little announcement today is my one year on booktube anniversary and i really didn't want to make a full video about it or make a big deal about it or anything like that because i made a video about it a month ago when i announced my giveaway which will be linked down below um by the time this goes up there's probably going to be less than 12 hours to enter so get in those last minute entries but I did want to say thank you to everyone who watched my videos, everyone who has subscribed, everyone who has supported me over the last 12 months. This has been one of the most amazing, amazing um, opportunities of my life, and I wouldn't give up BookTube for anything. If you guys want to see a video um, like of a recap of my last year on BookTube, or my favorite moments, or a combination of both, comment down below, and I'll put in the time and the effort into editing that video. But let's move on to today's Tuesday Talks topic, which is, what is your favorite setting of books? It should be pretty easy to guess that my favorite settings for books is anything um, fantasy, anything that has castles, anything that is not technologically advanced, like we are. Um, basically anything that, if you were to look at our history, anything that is pre-1860s um, is any is really anything that I like. I have some examples of books that encompass the types of the different types of um, fantasy settings that I really enjoy. The first one is The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson, and I will show you the map for why I like this. And it's just, it's got castles and kingdoms and there's kings and queens. There's also little cities of people, but they're like very tight-knit communities in kingdoms. Um, you know, they love to dance and celebrate and eat and drink at the local um, pub or what, what do they call it, like tavern. And I just love that type of setting. Um, I have just actually finished reading the second book in this uh, series called The Heart of Betrayal, and the third one looks like we're going to be traveling to the kingdom of Dalbrick, which is right here, and we haven't seen that kingdom yet, so I'm actually really excited because this looks like a really well-put-together kingdom, and I just love settings like this that just have kingdoms adjacent to one another. Um, I love it when they're on the ocean, and they have, like... Fishing is one of their main exports or activities that people do. Um, I've lived on the ocean my entire life, so I really relate to stuff like that. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite settings for books. Anything fantastical. Another example of that would be The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. This does not have a map that I can show you, but it is along the same lines of um, Kiss of Deception, the Remnant Chronicles series by Mary E. Pearson. Kingdoms and towns and um, has a great religious aspect in it. So there are priests and churches and I, I just like that, that whole fantasy feel. I think you're getting my point here. One more example of a fantasy series that has kingdoms and uh, castles and kings and queens and stuff is Fallen Kingdoms by Mary Mary E. Pearson by Morgan Rhodes. This is a really, really good option if you enjoy the types of settings that I do as well. Um, if you guys haven't read this, you really, really need to go on it. It is an amazing series. And last, something that is also fantasy but kind of diverges from the kings and queens and castles type of setting is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. It has those small town those small town city type feel to it, but it doesn't really have kingdoms or castles or anything like that. It just has a different feel to it. It doesn't have a monarchy from what I remember when I read this, but it's very old agey and um, pre-Renaissance era. And that's the map that they have in here. And I really liked this one. Just a very good fantasy book that doesn't have that monarchy type of um, government. And last but not least, another book that doesn't have a monarchy type government, but I still enjoy its fantastical elements, especially because it has fantastical creatures, which is another aspect of um, a scenery that I really enjoy. It's got elves and it's got dragons, and I really love that. And that is the um, Inheritance series by Christopher Paolini. This is my bind up of Aragon and Eldest, and the map is right here. I can. Where is it? Oh, there it is. This is this is the map, and I like that it's got um, mountain ranges here and here. <laughs> I can never point to it because it's opposite on my page. And it's got the um, woods, which is where the elves live, and of course a lot of um, 
fantasy books have like a desert right in the middle for some reason. I'm not really sure why that's a common aspect in fantasy genres. If you guys like the same type of settings that I do, fantasy with kings, queens, kingdoms, um, on the ocean, or with fantastical creatures, these five books are books that I would definitely recommend if you enjoy the same types of, types of settings that I do. So that is it for my Tuesday talks. Uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!